actually solve this problem. So for this fundamental trigonometric identities, and using these two figures, we can find the different trigonometric identities. So using this figure, so take note that for the ratio of the two functions, the result, the function before them, so if we have sine over tangent, so sine over tangent, this is equal to the function before them, so this is equal to cosine. Then if we have cosecant over second, so cosecant over second, this is equal to the function before them, so that's cotangent. Then if we have 1 over cosecant, so 1 over cosecant, so that's equal to sine. Then for tangent over second, so tangent over second, so the function before them, that's sine. Then for multiplication, so if we multiply the two functions, the result is the middle function. So if we have tangent times cosine or cosine times tangent, the result is the middle function. So this is equal to sine. Then for cosecant times cosine, so cosine times cosecant, so the middle function is cotangent. Then for sine, times cotangent, so sine times cotangent, so this is equal to the middle function, that's cosine. So this is how to use this figure to find the different trigonometric identities. And for the square of the functions, so in this case, we need to focus on a triangle. So for this triangle, so we have sine squared plus cosine squared that's equal to 1. And for this triangle, so that's tangent squared plus 1 that's equal to second squared. And for this last triangle, so that's 1 plus cotangent squared, this is equal to cosecant squared. Then for this identity, if we want to solve for cosine squared, so transpose this sine squared to the other side, so we have cosine squared equals 1, then minus sine squared. Then for this identity, if we want to solve 1, so transpose this cotangent squared to the other side, so therefore, 1 equals cosecant squared minus cotangent squared. So this is how to use this figure for the different identities. So if we have this problem to simplify this expression, so first, we need to check if in the given there is an identity. So since we have this multiplication, and again, multiplying the two functions, the result is the middle function. So we have cosine times tangent and cosine times tangent. So there is a middle function. So that's equal to sine. So this becomes sine theta plus this cosine times tangent is equal to sine theta then over tangent theta then the sine theta plus sine theta so this is equal to 2 sine theta then over tangent theta then for the ratio of the two functions the result is the function before them so we need to check if we have this sine over tangent, 
So we have sine over tangent. So the function before them, that's cosine. So this is equal to bring down 2. Then sine over tangent is cosine. So 2 times cosine theta. Then 4 is given. So cosecant minus cosine theta times cotangent theta. So we have this multiplication. So the result is the middle function for multiplication. So we have cosine times cotangent. So, since there is no middle function, so therefore, there is no identity for cosine times cotangent. So, on this case, we need to rewrite the other function to sine and cosine. So, convert this cosecant and cotangent to sine and cosine. So, for cosecant, using sine and cosine so that's one over sine so this cosecant is one over sine theta then minus so just bring down this cosine theta and for cotangent so cotangent so you can have cosecant over second but since we need to rewrite all this function in terms of sine and cosine, then we're going to use this identity for cotangent, that's cosine over sine. So times, so cotangent is cosine theta over sine theta. Then to simplify, so we have 1 over sine theta then minus multiply so cosine times cosine this is cosine squared theta then over sine theta so since the same denominators so we can write this one as one so one minus cosine squared theta then over copy the denominator sine theta then, for this 1 minus cosine squared theta, so we have this identity that sine squared plus cosine squared, that's equal to 1. So, to solve for sine squared, if we transpose this cosine squared to the other side, so this becomes sine squared equals 1 minus cosine squared. So therefore, this 1 minus cosine squared is equal to sine squared. So this equation becomes sine squared theta over sine theta. Then we can cancel cancel sine theta and cancel 1 sine theta. So this is equal to sine theta. Then 4 is given. So we have this second squared theta minus tangent squared theta. So using this identity, because we have this tangent squared and second squared, so from that identity, the tangent squared plus 1 is equal to second squared. Then if we transpose this tangent squared, so this becomes 1 then equals second squared minus tangent squared. So therefore, this second squared minus tangent squared is equal to 1. So this expression becomes 1 then over cosine theta. Then since 1 over cosine, so the function before them, that second, so this expression is equal to second theta. Then for this given, 
So we have second theta minus second theta sine squared theta. So observe that we have these common terms. So we can put second theta outside, then the remaining. So second theta divided by second theta, this is 1, then minus. So second theta, second theta, so cancel. So we have sine squared theta. Then for this one minus sine squared, so this identity, we have sine squared and 1. So since sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1, then transpose this sine squared to the other side. So we have now cosine squared equals 1, then minus sine squared. So therefore, 1 minus sine squared is equal to cosine squared. So we have now second theta, then times cosine squared theta. Then observe that for this second theta, so since second theta is equal to 1 minus cosine, so we can write the second theta as 1 over cosine theta, then times cosine squared theta. Then we can cancel this cosine theta, cancel 1. So therefore, the expression is equal to cosine theta. Then for this given, so take note that if we have a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So if we have a to the power 4 minus b to the power 4, we can write this one with exponent 2 as a squared to the power 2, then minus, this becomes b squared to the power 2, then to expand, so we have a plus b, so this is a plus b, so a squared plus b squared times a squared minus b squared. So therefore, for this given, we can write this sine to the power 4 and cosine to the power 4 with exponent 2. So this becomes sine squared theta to the power 2 then minus cosine squared theta to the power 2 then over sine theta plus cosine theta. Then using the sum and difference, so this becomes sine squared theta then plus cosine squared theta then times the difference sine squared theta then minus cosine squared theta then all over. So just bring down the denominator sine theta plus cosine theta, then observe that we have the sine squared plus cosine squared. So using this identity, that sine squared plus cosine squared, that's equal to 1. So this expression becomes 1, then times. So this sine squared and cosine squared, so we can expand the same with a squared and b squared. So we have a plus b times a minus b. So this becomes sine theta then plus cosine theta then times sine theta minus cosine theta then all over. So just copy the denominator sine theta plus cosine theta, then we can cancel the sine theta plus cosine theta. So therefore, the remaining or this expression 
is equal to sine theta minus cosine theta. 